Brothers, happy Founders Day. Episode one is finally here and we couldn't be more excited to share with you. But let's first tell you a little bit about who we are. This alumni active led podcast is created by gentlemen for gentlemen to form and foster lasting relationships between undergraduates and alumni all across the country. In doing so, we hope to present unique and powerful stories, ones that can impact and resonate with brothers in any and all walks of life, even after the sands of time have flown past their four years at their own alpha. Wherever you are in your own journey, this can reach you there. We hope that you enjoy everything that this podcast has to offer. And without further ado, welcome, welcome to, to The Gentleman's, Gentleman's Journey. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the first episode of The Gentleman's Journey. We're here uh, from in Sioux, Sioux Falls, South Dakota, at the national headquarters of uh, First Premier Bank. And we are here with our first guest. Very excited to have him, brother Denny Sanford, uh, Alpha New, class of 58 grad. Denny, how are you doing today? Wonderful, thank you, and I appreciate this opportunity. Yeah, we're so glad to have you with us. Um, you know, this has been something we've been trying to develop for a long time, and just now that it's here, uh, we couldn't be more excited, and you know, just how we're kicking it off, and uh, you know, just being here, the environment, uh, getting to you know see your business, and you know, understand what's going on here, and getting to hear your story uh, in these next you know ha half hour to an hour. It's going to be fantastic. We're glad to do it, and again, we thank you so much for being with us. Uh, so, first and foremost, um, tell me just about basically how you end up here today. As Denny Sanford, uh, you know, 86 years old, you know, you establish your business, you get here. What would you say were your three biggest things that led you to where you are today? You know, it could be hard work, success, anything like that. Good question. So I would start out by saying uh, my, my dad was a major influence on my, on my life. Uh, I've worked full time since I was nine years old. And I'm continuing to work at 85, by the way, in our 86, but that's okay. 85, excuse me. <laughs> but, but that, that works. So that was a big influence on me. And I worked, as I say, since I was uh, nine years old. And, but I was not a very good student. So I barely got out of high school. Uh, I was having problems at the university. My sophomore year at, at the University of Minnesota, I pledged Kaisai. And it was truly one of the most significant things in my life because I had all of a sudden I had some mentors in older alums uh, and uh, as well as the, the, the actors at that point in time. Uh, they kept re reminding Danny who didn't uh, catch on right away that the, the lodge was going to lose its status at the university if we didn't maintain a good grade, grade point average. So that, uh, that was significant. And get it, got me through, not with the best great, best of grades, but uh, one extra quarter at the University of Minnesota. So I graduated in '58, uh, uh, four years and one quarter uh, late. But that's we got through, and it was a great experience. I said it just meant so much to me. Uh, this is all about gentleman consideration, and it, it made me a, a better gentleman. I had some uh, troubles right out of high school, and got got over those. And uh, it truly made me a gentleman, and, and I thank Kaisai to this day for doing that, and that's how, uh, why I contributed, what I contributed to, to Kaisai. So it was a great experience. I, <clears throat> my first job out of college was with the Armstrong Core Company on uh, linoleum, tile, and that type of thing for floors, and stayed with them just for one year after, after a training uh, course and left on my own, became a manufacturer's rep, uh, architectural products, uh, getting architects to specify the, the uh, products that I was representing. And that became a very successful company. I took it public in 1972 at $5 a share, sold it in 82 for $35 a share. So that, that worked out pretty well. Put some cash in my pocket. 